Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to customize your profit and loss statement. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you, first of all, how to pull up your profit and loss, but then how to customize it, okay? And you can use uh, some of these steps to really customize any of the reports that you pull up in QuickBooks. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm on the home screen here, and if we go up to reports, and you can go to company and financial, all right? And you'll see here, you've got some options. We're gonna look at the profit and loss standard, okay? So this is a report that you're, you know, you should pull up frequently to see how your business is doing, okay? So you'll see here that it defaults to uh, the dates this month to date, okay? And in this sample file, it's December 1st through December 15th. Show columns total only and sort by default. Okay, so you have a couple of options here, plus you can change it from report basis accrual or cash. Okay, all right, so it pulls up this profit and loss, and you'll see here that, you know, it's got all the income items, cost of goods sold, and then your expenses, and it shows the profit or the net income. Okay, all right, so you do have a couple of options here, so you can click this drop down and you can choose a different date range. Okay, so if you say, uh, this fiscal year to date, okay, it's going to pull up January through December 15th. Or you can go in and change the dates to whatever date you want. Okay, you can also show the, to show the columns, okay, by different time periods, okay, day, week, two week, month, quarter, year, you can do it by customer, uh, you can do it by class, okay, there's a number of ways that you can do this, okay. So the, the, the primary way, though, to do a little bit more customization, so these are just kind of some quick customizations of how you want to see it. Okay, but up here, you're going to see some other options. Okay, so really this one we're going to focus on here, customize report. Okay, so within this customize report, it pulls up this other box, and you'll see that it's got all the options that it has on that toolbar there. So within here, you can change the date. Okay, so let's say that we wanna see um, this fiscal year. Okay, and it's gonna put the dates in there. You can change it, accrual or cash, display columns by total. And then you've got some other options here, add sub columns for a previous period, a previous year. So let's say that we wanted to do the previous year and we wanted to see the dollar amount of the change. You could do year to date, and you can also do these percentages. I'll show you these here in just a minute, okay? You've got filters where you can actually filter your information by, let's say that it's a certain account. Right now it defaults to all income and expense accounts, but if you wanted to do multiple accounts, you can choose which accounts you wanna see. So if you just wanted to see construction income, Okay, I'm gonna show you what this will look like. Okay, so let's say we just wanna see construction income. If I click okay, you're gonna see now, all we see is construction income for our, this year and last year. So our construction income has gone up $321,000. Okay, now if you wanna clear this, you can go back in over here, go to filters, and you'll see this multiple accounts you just remove selected filter and it'll go back to all accounts, okay? There's a number of ways that you can filter this information and, uh, you know, so you can play around and really customize to how you wanna see the information. All right, the next one over here is a header and footer. So you can uh, change the information, you know, if you wanted to say something other than profit and loss or the subtitle date prepared, you can take off some of these items just by checking or unchecking. Uh, you don't need a page number. You can add an extra footer line. Okay, so you can, you can do a number of items here to customize the layout and the look. The alignment, okay, you can say centered. I want it just centered in the report. And fonts and numbers. Okay, so you can change the font for the company name, for example, if you wanna change it to uh, let's pull up an example here. Let's say that it's, we really want it to look like uh, aerial, rounded, MT, bold, oblique, and we want it to be 18. 
Okay, and you can underline it as well, and you can change the color to a different color. Say OK. Yes, change all related fonts. We click OK, and you'll see that now it does this with all of the items on here. Okay, and when I said change all related fonts, you could click no, and it would not change these. Okay, so let's go back to this. Go to fonts and numbers. Okay, we're going to say company name. Uh, we can click revert and it'll just go back to how it was. Show negative numbers, you can show them in parentheses, you can show them in bright red, and you can show all the numbers without cents or divided by a thousand, don't show uh, zero amounts, click OK, and you'll see here now it's got the red amounts here. All right, now a couple of other ways that you can collapse this, or I'm sorry, that you can customize this, is you can click collapse, and it's gonna collapse all the sub accounts into the main accounts. And if at any time you want to see those, you can click these arrows for specific areas of your profit and loss. So right now it's uh, collapsing everything. If we click expand, you can also choose to collapse certain items. So if you want to collapse all of income, it's just going to show a total. Okay. All right. So one other item I want to show you, if we go back to customize report, all right, you can display columns by, let's say, by a month. Now, we're not going to show the previous year because this will be a, a tremendously big report, but let's say by month. Okay, so now we see the profit and loss by month for all of 2023. And if we collapse this, you're going to see a little bit more condensed version, which is a little bit easier to read. Okay, or we can go to Customize Report and View by Class. Okay, so if we click OK, we're going to see it by the classes we have set up. So new construction, remodel, overhead, and then they have some unclassified transactions in here. So this is how you can start to see, okay, when you use class tracking in QuickBooks, how are different divisions, how are different areas of the business doing? Okay, and this will allow you to make decisions to see, okay, which areas are profitable, which areas are not profitable. All right, let me show you one other option here. Okay, so let's go back to change this to total only and percent of income. Okay, so let's say we click OK, and now we'll see that, okay, well, our gross profit was 64%. All right, so this is a quick and easy way to say, okay, payroll expense was 24% of our income, uh, gross profit was 64%, our net profit margin is 31%, okay? So again, this is a quick and easy way you can customize this to start to look at your information in your reports to help you make decisions in your business. Now, if at any time you want you you come up with this customization, this is how you want to see this information, uh, you can go up to Memorize, and you can memorize this report. And that way, any time you want to come back to it, you don't have to redo all your customizations you're going to save it as a certain name, and you can save it in a group, okay? But this way you don't have to re-customize your information for the report that you want to pull up every single time. And again, all of these options are available for pretty much any report. Now, there are some different customizations for different types of reports, depending on what you're pulling up. But in general, you can customize and filter and do anything that you want to with this information so that you can pull up the report you want to see. Okay? Any questions on this, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, and uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, really talk a lot about uh, really how to use QuickBooks from start to finish. Uh, but also a lot of business advice and, and how to look at your information and help uh, with your business. Uh, becoming a member, answer all your personal QuickBooks questions and help you out. Uh, head over there now, qbuniversity.org.